What's up gamers? Welcome to GameStar. My name is Rob and today we're talking about Minecraft 1.17. In case you haven't heard, Mojang, the creators of Minecraft, just dropped an announcement that they're bringing a huge patch to Minecraft that's supposed to drop mid-2021. So halfway through next year, we're supposed to get a large update uh, for Minecraft called the Caves and Cliffs update, which promises to add a whole lot of elements that uh, gamers have been asking for for a very long time, uh, as well as introduce some new things that maybe we didn't see coming. It is exciting, I want to cover that, but at the end of talking about the Minecraft 1.17, I want to introduce to you, if you haven't heard already, another reason to be super excited for 2021, especially if you're a Minecraft fan. So if you got some time, sit back, let me break it down. Let's go to it! Let's do this. So, okay. The next update is the update that we know that so many of you, and well, so many of us as well, has been wanting for such a long time. It's the Caves and Cliffs update. Those mobs are very, very excited. So let's kick off the Caves and Cliffs update discussion with the Cliffs part. So Mojang is changing world gen, adding a new biome, um, tall mountains, which will be very steep, uh, hard to traverse. Uh, trees will even have a hard time uh, growing up them past a certain point. And I'm gonna assume because of their height, that there'll be two to three blocks between each incline, making it difficult, if not impossible, to jump to the next step. You'll have to kind of dig your way stairs up. Uh, they're also gonna have a new powder snow block, which looks like normal snow, but when you step on it, you fall through, uh, possibly your death or into a trap or Chinese food restaurant. The options are limitless. And of course, what self-respecting mountain doesn't have its own goat? So goats are the new animals added to 117. They can jump vertically six blocks apparently and can eat the crap out of cows and uh, players, just be warned. I think they look legit, super cool. I'm looking forward to some goat wrestling. What about you? Uh, and here we see the illustrious Azalea tree. Uh, pretty much guards the entrance to the lush cave. So when you come across these, you'll know there's a lush cave below. Uh, in this particular instance, we have a hole leading straight down with some vines to climb down luckily so we don't fall to our death. Uh, oh yeah, and these right here, uh, they're glow fruits, which apparently uh, emit light, but also can be, well, you can eat them, they're edible. Um, I don't know to a degree or how good they are, but I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure many thankful adventurers out there who ran out of food. Oh, and this is a spore blossom. So apparently you can move these around and they drop little particles and those particles will um, move along with it. So you put a new building, you want a little bit of um, uh, atmosphere, you can add a couple of these and have little brown dirt balls dropping from it. I mean, I'm sure what you'd use it for, but I'm sure some people come up with some creative stuff. Uh, now, one of the other plants you can find down here is called the drip leaf. And uh, we'll take a, take a look at that right now. So this is uh, basically a stairway made of drip leaf plant. Uh, the plant's got a leaf on top or like a lily pad, uh, which will hold your weight at least temporarily. The longer you stand on it, it'll begin to cave and eventually give way completely and you'll fall, um, which you'll see in this demonstration here in just a second. <clears throat> and it's time. Let's talk about the improved, the improved cave, cave generation. generation. So now the game is going to be able to um, pick from different templates and uh, styles of underground caves. So it's gonna really lead to this large variety. There's also this thing called local water level now. So rather than the entire map being stuck at the same sea level, there can be localized versions of it where lakes can start at different depths. So you can get these uh, flooded underground caverns. Um, ah, it just looks way better. It's gonna be way more fun to explore. There's natural waterfalls now. Uh, you kind of had those before just where uh, water block happened to spawn on the side, but now it's going to be much more natural, much more realistic. It seems at least from what they're they're talking about. I mean, look at that. That looks amazing. That would be so cool. And apparently it's normally really dark. Um, they just got the ores lit up so that we can see. Uh, but that's going to be very menacing and exciting. Uh, oh yeah, not to mention, I mean, kayaking, underground caves, great time. Yeah, I think this will be by far the best part of the uh, the update. Good stuff. 
And while we're on the subject of underground, we'll go ahead and talk about the new biome, uh, Dripstone Caves. So these are a biome where it's very common for stalactites and stalagmites to form. Uh, the stalactites apparently drip water and you can actually put a cauldron under it and collect unlimited source of water. Uh, while the stalagmites uh, actually stick up from the ground and uh, do damage to any entity that may come across them. So you'll see here, zombie, bad day. All right, so I'm gonna stop it here just uh, because once I start this, you need to just listen to uh, the sounds and the ambiance. This is a really cool clip, uh, but this is called the Deep Dark. It's a biome that's found really far down in the earth. And there's a couple things to note here. Uh, while the clip's running, you'll see little blocks in the ground that happen to chirp whenever the character gets near them. Uh, they're called skulk sensors, and they actually react to vibration and sound. So if there's a noise by them, or you place a block or something like that, something that cause vibration, they'll send off a wireless redstone signal. This is obviously uh, gonna open up all kinds of options for engineers and whatnot. Now, the other thing this clip is gonna show is the warden, which is this monster uh, found in the deep dark that happens to be blind and it also goes by sound and vibrations uh, and can also feed off of the skulk sensors of vibrations. So uh, very interesting. Uh, anyways, here, check it out. Now, one of the other things you can find down below are these uh, chunks of rock called amethyst geodes. Uh, and inside, they'll spawn uh, crystals. These crystals will grow off of the, the geodes. Uh, they make a really cool sound when you walk by them. And I think they pair up well with the uh, skulk sensors as far as uh, sound and vibrations go. Uh, but their main purpose is to create the telescope. Telescope's a new item that uh, allows you to zoom and see uh, further than before. Uh, for vanilla players, people who don't use um, Optifine or mods, this is going to be very useful. Um, definitely a cool addition. And one of the new ores out of the game is copper, uh, which is pretty cool. I think they'll have uh, more use for it as time goes on, I would hope. But as of right now, you can make copper blocks, uh, copper slabs, and... Uh, copper stairs, I understand. Uh, but one of the really, really cool uh, aspects of this, or one of the really cool things they added was uh, aging. Like it patinas over time. Um, as time goes on in the game, it turns from copper color to like a jade. Um, kind of like uh, copper really does. It's really, really cool aspect. It kind of shows age of buildings. Now you can also use it to make a uh, lightning rod, which for all you who've... Uh, Decided to use the wool for roofs in survival based on looks. Um, this will spare your creation from getting uh, torched 
by Mother Nature. So Lightning Rod will catch the lightning and uh, disperse it safely. And bundles are a new addition, which will really help uh, with bag space. Uh, now you can make collections of items in each of these uh, bags called bundles, and therefore you can hold a lot more rather than just having a couple of uh, like one seed or you know two grass. Uh, those take up two inches of slots. Now you can just kind of bundle them together into one bag. So this is this is actually outstanding. Uh, I would applaud more things like this, you know, things that allow you to get out there and stay out there longer when you're on adventures. Um, just take away the annoyances of the game. One of those annoyances being the Drown and Guardians, of which the new Axolotl is going to help you with that. It's a new salamander pet that you can tame just by scooping in a bucket, uh, and it will help you attack your underwater enemies, again, like Guardians and the Drowned. Outstanding! They're, uh, I mean, they're kind of cute, too. So that's a bonus. Now, this all seems really cool, and I'm excited for it, and I hope you are as well. But uh, I can't help but wonder the reason that Mo Minecraft, or I should say Mojang, uh, I can't help but think of some of the reasons that Mojang is finally dropping this update, one that includes things uh, that players have been asking for for a very long time. Uh, I can't help but think it's because of their new challenger in the ring. Uh, if you haven't heard, Minecraft has a new challenger also coming out in 2021 that looks to finally take the, the crown away from Minecraft, and I think it can do it. Now, I want to state up front that the creators of this new game uh, have been very stern and, and straightforward, showing that this game is not looking to take on Minecraft directly. This is not a Minecraft replacement. This is not 2.0. This is just their own game based on their love of Minecraft that's going to bring elements that mm, will seem to be missing in Minecraft. I'm going to tell you, though, as a game star, this is the Minecraft killer. I truly believe of all the ones out there that have been claimed to be able to uh, take Minecraft's crown from them, this is the one that's going to do it. So if you got a little bit more time, I want you to sit back and let's talk about Hytale. No, better yet, let's let it speak for itself. Pretty cool, right? Dude, I am stoked for Hytale. I think it's gonna be awesome. It's the game I've been wanting for years. 
Uh, the amount of love they're putting into it, it just it just shows and shines. I think this game's gonna be amazing. Uh, as far as Minecraft goes, hey, anything you add to the game to, to give us more to do is a good thing. So thank you, Mojang. And thank you for tuning in, giving me a chance to break these down. Uh, I hope to bring you more information in the future on both the Minecraft update as well as any updates from Hytale. Uh, until then, keep the game on, and even when you got a competitor smashing your head in, you're still a game star. See ya!